Hello everyone, welcome back to the practical IT React tutorial. On this tutorial, I uh, will try to add a bootstrap, which is a known CSS framework to add to the React application that we're going to be just using and see how we can utilize the components that are available in the bootstrap to be used in the React application. For this, we're going to be just using the React bootstrap uh, GitHub page, which I'm going to put the uh, link in the description below. And we're going to follow pretty much what is out there and we're going to implement it. And hopefully uh, you all know what the bootstrap is. And for those of you who are not aware of it, then it is a well-known CSS framework or a library basically. And it would allow us to implement it uh, using the components that are already created for us and we can uh, utilize them. So if we go here, uh, for example, you can just directly add it and then implement it. Uh, and once you got the library added, then you can go to already pre-created components in the layout formats and then utilize it on your application. Uh, and you might be familiar with uh, some of them which are common in most of like the applications or websites that might be out there. One of them is an accordion. So if you want to use an accordion on your uh, website, then all you have to do or on your direct application, uh, we're going to see how to do that. But you just in general, if you're going to use that, then all you have to do will be just to check out this, uh, let the copy this one and then adjust it accordingly. And you can uh, see most of those things which are available on the websites are also available pre-made for us. All we have to do would be just to utilize them. Uh, well, this one is way beyond the scope of this class. Uh, so we're not going to go through that, but hopefully you would understand what it is. So by uh, doing that one, the first thing is we're going to install the, um, the library, which would allow us to use the React Bootstrap. So we're going to go ahead and then use that. And for this, uh, I have created a brand new React application so that we can test this thing out. Uh, and for the previous one, it is available on the GitHub and I'm going to put the link below for the previous ones to, uh, if you want to follow from that one. All right, so with that, uh, let's go here and I'm going to clean this one. I'm going to go to the terminal and we're going to paste that and install it. And after that, uh, we're going to import the components while we're going to add that. So it's going to be just as simple as importing, if it is a button, then uh, importing a button and then using it just directly. Um, it looks like there is also another way to do that one uh, using the, the uh, browsers and the stuff. Uh, but this one looks to be like more appropriate and especially with utilization of like the uh, maintainability and whenever we want to uh, use like the package.json, it's going to be just available for us. Um, and hopefully that would also take care of like the versions. So I would say this one is going to be just the most appropriate way to, to provide, uh, to utilize, sorry. And if this one is still using it. And once uh, we do that, then it would be just a matter of like going to the layouts and the components and additional utilities. For example, under the components, um, the usages are going to be just here. And pretty much it looks like it is side by side. The, user, the utilization is whatever is out there on the bootstrap, um, they have added it like through the component over here. And you can see that there is an accordion, there is a, a badge, there is a, a buttons and, and, and more. And uh, the cool thing on this one is you can pretty much see the utilization here. So all you have to do is just to copy uh, this one and then utilize it on the component that we were going to be just uh, using. So once we import it accordingly, then the next is going to be just to utilize it uh, actively with that one. By now, um, uh, hopefully it's going to be just available uh, for us. Mm, looks like it's not. So I am going to get back to this video once this one is completely uh, done on installing. I was thinking that it would be fast uh, to install, but it doesn't look like the way. Hello everyone, we are back. So the installation is done and let's take a look on package that JSON. So we have like the bootstrap uh, 460 and the other one is like React bootstrap 161 is installed. And that one is going to be just updated on the node modules. So if we go back 
to um, React um, Angular 